Welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara, and today I'll be talking about adding audio to slides that contain video or our templates which have video playing in the background. This will be specifically for Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2007. We do have a 2010 video available as well. It's just before this one in your video list. Again, today we'll be talking about adding those audio files to a file with video. The trick is, a file that already contains video is not going to want to play audio at the same time. So today we'll be adding that audio, and then we'll be showing you how to be able to make it play at the same time as the video, instead of just after. The slideshow we have today is just our basic slideshow. It's going to show our getting started, as well as our title. And then here's the slide that has the video. You can see the buildings coming up in the background. These will be composed primarily of Lego-looking pieces. The video is just over 10 seconds long in this case, and we'll be adding an audio file that's going to be approximately the same length, just to be able to add a little bit more interest and creativity to that. So the first thing we need to do is select the slide that we want to add our audio to. In this particular instance, it'll be slide number two. It may vary based on the template that you've downloaded from our website or what you already have going as far as your own project is concerned. We're going to go to our Insert tab. It's two tabs from the left, and then as you can see, as scrolling over to the right, we're going to go to our second to last option here, inserting a sound. In our case, we're going to insert a sound from the clip organizer. You are more than welcome to be able to insert a sound from a file or however else you may be storing your audio files. An interesting feature of 2007, I'll move this here so you can see it, is adding the ability to start the sound automatically or when clicked. Now in this particular case we want to make sure that we are adding it automatically. That way it's going to know to be able to play it as soon as it's able. Our next step will be to grab that audio file and we're just going to go ahead and move it to the bottom right hand corner because that will be seen during the presentation or slideshow for you. So we don't want it to be right in the middle of that video. Go ahead and close out of your clip art pane here on the right. Our next step will be to select that audio file we're going to go up to our sound options to make sure that it is playing automatically. You always want to double check that. The next step that we're going to do is go to your animations tab. It's going to be four from the left. And what you'll see here is custom animation in the bottom left hand corner of the ribbon here. Go ahead and select that and now it's opening up where your clip art pane used to be, a custom animation pane. The item that's going to be selected already will be your audio file since we did click on that speaker. You can see the drop down next to it. Just go ahead and move that down to start with previous. That's going to tell it that it wants to start at the same time as your title and the same time as your body so everything's all going to come in right along with that video that's going to be playing in the background. Now keep in mind that when you do insert audio files that there will be an issue as far as sound goes. If you choose to have that play the standard volume, it'll be a medium. If you do want it loud or quiet, you can go ahead and automatically select that. Now because I know this file happens to be a loud one, we are going to play it on low. Now we'll go back into our slideshow. We'll play it from the beginning and we'll see how this transitions. Here's our slide number one and then the moment of truth, slide number two. Alright, now I did mute that due to the volume of the sound, but you were able to see that it came in just like it was supposed to. I'd like to thank you for watching our video tutorial today on adding video as well as audio into a slideshow and being able to make them play together. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and email me at support at presentermedia.com. Again, my name is Kara, and this tutorial has been brought to you by presentermedia.com.